What is up everyone? Hope you're all doing well and welcome into this fill lesson, which is a little bit of a special one because this is called a fill of the week lesson. And I make these every week exclusively for the people subscribed to my email list. So if you're not subscribed to my email list, normally you would not be able to see this video. However, I decided to take this one video today and make it public and available for all of you guys to watch. So if you're watching on YouTube or if you're coming from Instagram, wherever you're seeing this from, you will be able to see this one fill of the week lesson. So if you guys want to see fill of the week lessons like this every single week delivered straight to your email, all you have to do is enter your name and your email at the link in the description, or just go to seriousvaziri.com forward slash email. So just your name, your email, that's it, no catch, just enter that and you will get this video every single week or a video like this. Every single week, you will also be able to request fills and impact the content that you actually see. You will also get a bunch of other emails, a bunch of exclusive offers and stuff like that as time goes. So make sure you join my email list if you haven't already. And with all of that out of the way, let us dive into this fill that we have on our hands today. The fill we're learning this week is based on a suggestion from Ryan Claxton, who wanted to see some kind of fill based on a hybrid rudiment. And I'll be honest, I hardly even knew what hybrid rudiments were, so I did a little bit of googling and found some different ones, tried a couple of them on the kit, kind of to see what I could do with them. Eventually I decided to make a fill out of a hybrid rudiment called the Choo Choo. And first of all, Choo Choo is a pretty stupid name for anything drum related. Uh, but anyway, hybrid rudiments are essentially combinations of different official rudiments. So in this case, we're taking a, a paradiddle and a flam, and we're combining that into a new hybrid rudiment. So this again, this one is called a choo-choo. So we're going to be building this fill from the bottom up. So first of all, let us start with the most basic component of this fill, which is the paradiddle. So right now with the right hand and the left hand paradiddle, we have eight strokes in total. And what we're going to do to make this into a choo-choo is to add two flams, one left hand flam on the third stroke and a right hand flam on the seventh stroke. And now we're going to take our finished choo-choo, and I still can't get over how stupid that sounds. We're gonna take our finished choo-choo, and we're going to be adding some accents, and all those are gonna be on our left hand. So we're not gonna do anything different with our right hand, at least for now. So we're gonna add accents on the second, the third, and the fourth eighth note in the bar. And all of those are going to be on our left hand. We're also going to be taking the second flam in the bar and turning that into a left hand flam instead of a right hand flam. Basically what that means is you're going to be hitting your right hand right before the left hand stroke. And again, the left hand stroke is going to be an accented stroke, which lands on the timing on that eighth note. And finally, to complete the whole fill, we're going to leave the left hand exactly as it is right now on the snare, same accent, same sticking, same everything. It does not move away from the snare, but our right hand is going to be orchestrated and be moving around the kit. And we're also going to be accenting every single one of our right hand strokes now. So the first right hand stroke is going to be on the hi-hat, and we're also going to be adding our bass drum underneath that. Then we move our right hand to the rack tom, two accents there, and then we move it to the floor tom and two accents there. So I will play the whole thing for you now. I'll just loop it around a couple of times to let you hear how it sounds, and uh, yeah. Here's how it sounds. Alright, awesome. So we managed to take something as stupid sounding as the choo-choo and make it a little bit more interesting. So now that we have the whole picture, I also encourage you to try, you know, try different orchestrations. If you have more toms, move it around on all of those toms. Or if you don't use any toms at all, try with some cymbals and add your bass drum. You know, orchestrate things around, make it, make it your own, add your own touch to it. Uh, but then when you have the whole picture, whatever that's going to be for you, experiment with playing it in a couple of different tempos. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'll play it in two different tempos. One is going to be a little bit of a slower, more kind of ballad tempo. and then I'm gonna, then I'm going to pick up the tempo a little bit and play it in a little bit of a groovier context. Uh, so yeah, let me play that for you and then that's pretty much gonna wrap up the whole lesson. So uh, let us listen to it.
All right, so that will be everything for this week's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, if you're not subscribed to my email list, this is the only fill of the week lesson you'll be seeing. If you want to see a lesson like this every single week and also be able to request fills and all of that good stuff, go to sirozaziri.com forward slash email, click the link in the description, click up the link up here, wherever the link is visible, click that right now, go enter your first and last name and your email, that's it, no catch, no nothing, and you will get a video lesson like this every single week and other exclusive offers and emails and interaction and all of that good stuff. So uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in my email list, hope you enjoyed the lesson and uh, take care, see you next week.